Ooh, three new ones. Okay, let's see. Um, it's it's a it's a Zubat. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a Pidgey and a Caterpie. All right, let's see if I'm correct. <laughs> let's see how outdated I am with those references. This is this is. Oh no! Oh wow! No, I just no. <laughs> what in the world? Right, so we are departing the town of Lucent, which seems uh, eternally cursed. And we are heading up north to... Um... What's this? Oh, a solstice shrine. Actually, wait, I can't do anything with it anyways. Right? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Was that good or bad? Uh, well, I mean, it's... I could explore down here, but I, I will wager that there's nothing to... Nothing to gain. Okay, no. Fine. And I currently do not have a means of getting across this chasm. So there is, I would guess, no point to be here. Alright, fine. Hey, a fishing spot. <laughs> a haunted creek. Okay. What kind of fish do you possess? Ooh, three new ones. Okay, let's see. Um, it's it's a it's a Zubat. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a Pidgey and a Caterpie. All right, let's see if I'm correct. <laughs> let's see how outdated I am with those references. Oh, right here. Eels probably. Oh no. Oh my. Okay. Well, that was unexpected. An eel. You caught a spectral eel, specifically a spectral one. What makes it spectral? Oh, wow. Wait, was that- was that a bone? Was that a skeleton fish? It was. You caught a bone pike. Okay. So there's one more new type of fish, which is probably all the way at the top. Right there. Oh, nope. <laughs> Actually, maybe. We'll- we'll see. Oh, no. Oh. Come on. What is it? Oh, another electric- uh, not electric. Spectral eel. Come on. Oh no! Oh wow. Whoa, whoa, that looked really cool. No wonder this one's tougher to get. Come on. What is it? Oh, very luminescent. A, go <laughs> a ghost sturgeon. Love it. Love it. I want it. Excellent name. Why would... How... Okay. <laughs> how does a bone pike provide any meat if it's just made of skeleton? That... that I, answer me that. <laughs> answer me that unnecessary question. <laughs> It could be the case of like a crab, I guess. Maybe it's like encased in chitin or skeletal material and inside is where the meat is. Like shellfish. Mmm, that sounds delicious right now. Like a lobster. Ooh. A ghost I can't get over just how clever that name is. Ghost sturgeon. <laughs> Love it. What makes it a ghost sturgeon? Is it the, the manifested spirit of a deceased fish? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't ask that question. I might be... I might be... Uh, I might regret finding out the real answer. And who's to say... I mean, looking at the water here, it's, it's quite... It's quite an emerald color. It's very green. Who's to say that this isn't a uh, mutated fish <laughs> due to acidic waste or something? I don't know. These might not be edible fish. Oh, come on. Oh, you... Okay. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, gosh. Okay. It's getting close. Oh, right. Good. 
Yay! A final ghost sturgeon, I think. Yep, we're done. I <laughs> uh, yeah, there seems to be remnants of maybe crypts or something in the water here. I, I probably should be concerned about the quality of the fish, but anyways, we caught them all. Thanks! Okay, diversion aside, we were actually trying to get to that uh, <laughs> that very ominously red house. Uh, but to get through there, we need to go through the cursed woods. Before we do that, maybe we should set up camp and check on ourselves. Oh. Speaking of checking on things, I did get some relics. So, anything I would like? Uh, damage taken? No. That? No, that's fine. Experience gain? Yes. Price reduction? Yes. That I don't care about. Um, double hit on right No. Okay, no, that's fine. The the ones that I want are already activated, luckily. I hope we're not too late. So if the villager went into the Curse of Woods, does that mean that the Dweller's Lair is also north of Lucent? Uh, it would seem that way. I still haven't picked up any new stories. I, I feel like... I'm missing out on something. Oh, Papi cures KO and 50% HP for an ally. And I have... Oh, I was going to say I have plenty of ingredients. No, I don't really have that much that much onions. I'm not seeing any other recipes that require onions, though, so it might be worth making, actually. Oh, <laughs> it's a vegetarian Papi It's just potatoes and onions and an assortment of other veggies that were not identified, but that Looks and sounds delicious. Alright, let's rest and we will continue on with our journey. Into the Cursed Woods. Yep, sounds cursed. <laughs> sounds spooky. This is... This is... Oh, no. Oh, wow. No. I it, just know. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, okay. I was able to strike the woodland spirit. What the heck is this? <laughs> An Aaron tree. Oh, oh. Aaron tea. Almost like a, um... What are those things called? Uh... A... A tree? Trent? A, a tree? A... What? Um, I can't think of what it's called. A trent, like a wooden, a, a sentient tree. Anyways, um, <laughs> having said that, Woodland Spirit is going to give us a lot of grief, but I don't think I have a way to break it. I'm just going to have to hope I can kill it. Uh, here. Come on, Valir. Yes! Alright, what have you got? Okay, it just bounced. <laughs> That's it. Wow, 110. And I couldn't even do... Well, that was Zale. He's, again, the weakest of the team. So that does not surprise me, sadly. Garl, what can you do? Okay, that's better numbers. Blunt did not... Blunt was normal damage. So let's see if Lunar has any better effect. Yes, vulnerable to Lunar. Good. Whoa, hey, wait, what was that move? <laughs> that was new. Right. Cool. Honestly, that tree scared me. <laughs> I did not expect a, such a giant, uh, a giant opponent. Oh, I guess there's nothing to be found down here? Are we sure? Yeah, I guess we are. Okay. Well, why why then present a path to descend? Uh, north to the manor, south to Lucent. Well, we are very clearly heading up north. Berries, thanks. Why are you giving me a save point here? <laughs> Do tell me. Why? Why? Ooh. Oh no. Brambles are blocking the way. We should find their source. Oh, great. Okay. We're gonna have to deal with the source. It's poison ivy. We're gonna have to deal with poison ivy here. 
as in the Batman villain, not a, not just a. Oh no. I don't. I'm I'm nervous. What is it? Oh. Oh no. A bulb. <laughs> okay, bulb. If that's your real name. We're gonna need to break the lock on this spirit first, but... Oh wow, that attack was fast! Valir, no wait, yes, no, Valir, go! <laughs> what was that about? I've never... we have not encountered an enemy that moves while they're not the target of an attack. That is interesting. That is very concerning. Um, break time. Cool. And then Garl for the kill. I I don't feel safe with uh, where we're at. Let's let's throw a mending light just in case. I should have waited. <laughs> Darn it. Um. Okay. What I wanted to see was if solar damage is a weakness. Okay. Sail. Show me what you got. It is vulnerable to solar or slash. Actually, I, I need to make that distinction the next time. Ah, we cleared the brambles. Good. I like the random tombstones along the side here. And the green light, the green lanterns. Not the hero, the <laughs> actual green lanterns. Okay. Mushrooms. Ooh. Whack. Okay, we also have to deal with some zomb- they're not called zombies, what are they called? Uh, Lonzons. That's- <laughs> that's it, Lonzons. I still don't have access to poison, so how do you expect me to break that? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, for now... Ooh, wow. Oh no, oh no, Garl! No! <laughs> no, you j absolute jerks. Okay. Oh, hey, that took a break. Finally. <laughs> Finally, something easy. Hmm. Well, we can get rid of this Lonzen. Okay. I... I am really missing up that timing. Okay, anyways. Mending Light. It is probably the only combo I have used thus far besides a tutorial one, <laughs> which is shameful. Alright. Uh, let's give you two. Oh, that's right, it's vulnerable to lunar magic. Okay, I need to remember that, actually. Lunar or blunt? Hold on. Lunar. How about solar? No, okay. Fine. All yours, Valir. Nice. Great.
Now the upper path was covered in brambles, which means we need to find another bulb to dispatch of. Oh no. Oh no. Hey, 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 hey. Oh darn it. <laughs> I, I look away for one second. <laughs> wow, that was that was very clever, but also very unfair. <laughs> Alright. Um well let's go after the woodland sprite since it was so eager to play. Set us at a disadvantage, unfortunately. Right. Zale, go. Chomp chomp. Oh no. Oh, yikes. And then chomp chomp. <laughs> oh no, Valir. Jeez. Okay. Not good. Hmm. Nope. Oh, I shouldn't have bothered absorbing the mana. That's alright. Okay. Oh, that we can break. Sword. Back to Valir. Oh, wait a minute. Eh, no. We need to break it. And then, Garl, I need you to send some nourishment uh, to Valir, please. Here you are, your favorite, Granny Smith. Definitely my favorite. Oh, come on. Poison? What it... What are you expecting of me? Oh wait, maybe I could um no, Garl, I need you to I need you to crush it. <laughs> Just dispatch of it now. Oh thank goodness, okay. Now that leaves the bulb, but before we do that. I do need to get some healing on Zale. A S A P. Actually wait. Never mind healing. Another mending light. <laughs> Listen, my my dear viewers, I absolutely acknowledge that there are other combos, but Mending Light has probably been the most useful one for me. I I stand I stand on the that's the hill I'm gonna die on. <laughs> Mending Light is OP. Hmm. A bone from from which one the bulb or the zombies <laughs> do i want to know the answer to that actually no i can drop down this way since the brambles have been cleared great onwards Ooh, mushrooms and that's it just a dead end well not a dead end but nothing else <laughs> nothing further oh you you think you're so clever. How many spirits? What in the world? Alright. Uh, Zale. Okay, I can't break both. I can at least break this one. And actually... Let's try a Moonerang. And be really careful about it this time. <laughs> Alright, broken. Good. Eh. Group heal. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Not good. Okay. Ah. We're definitely breaking that one. And then, can I pull off another moon ring? I can. Let's do it then. Ah! Okay. Not bad.
Okay. Well, I really want that treasure, but I'm gonna have to deal with two of them. Uh, which might not be... It might not be that challenging, to be honest. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well. For the heck of it, let's do <laughs> let's do a moonerang on this final one. Nice! Beautiful! A one-hit kill. Ah, uh, Valir, you are my favorite. A rainbow conch shell. Good. And I think that was it, but that was absolutely worth it. Oop. Yeah, let's stop off here. More brambles, of course. Ah, treasure. Oh, uh, <laughs> nice try. I see you there. I see you behind that tree. I think you're so clever. Can I get the jump on it? Since I know it's there? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, well, okay. That was me trying to be a smart guy. It, uh, it did not pay off. I need to remember that that's two attacks to deflect. Ugh, come on, poison? Well, it's going to be fatal to somebody, unfortunately. Oh no, please not Garl. <laughs> Darn it. Well, oh well. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that was really horrible. Right. Why am I having such trouble deflecting all of a sudden? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Okay. Well, how do I want to... Well, we're getting rid of this zombie. And then... Oh, let's use a... Oh, wait. No. We'll wait until the next round to do Mending Light. At least at this point, I'll have a reason to... There we go, okay. Calculate it in a way that it would be most beneficial to use, to use my favorite uh, combo, probably because it's the only one I've been using this entire playthrough. There we go. Beautiful. Ah, uh, there it is. Bone armor. I knew, I knew I didn't have to buy it. Okay. Uh, grants me higher defense, but really knocks down the magic defense. Although, it would... Uh, uh... And Garl cannot wear it, so there's... Aha. Okay. Alright, fine. I, I knew... My gut told me don't bother buying it, and I still did anyways. Oh, and I could have jumped down right here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wow. Alright. Moving on, then.
Oh, interestingly, that was not the bulb that obstructs this path. Warrants a visit to this side, then. Aha! Oh, you're kidding me. Oh my gosh, you are really kidding me. <laughs> that is... that is some nonsense right there. Nonsense is not the word I want to use, but I want to keep it family-friendly. <laughs> okay, one broken, but that does mean that someone's gonna get chomped on. Oh, that was a group attack. That's interesting. Yish. Uh, heal yourself. Nourish, please. Hooray, a gala apple that time. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I wasn't able to deflect it. Uh, not deflect. Uh, break it in time. Darn. Okay. Uh, Garl, finish it off. Oh no, Valir. Jeez. Wow, this got tough. <laughs> um, well, I, I made this for a reason. I will, um... Uh... How do I want to do this, though? No, Papiot, here. Okay, and then... You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is such nonsense. Okay. Uh, mending light. I don't have a choice. I can't kill this in time. Wait, can I... Hold on. Oh, no, it's not. It's Zale's turn only. Sunball. And then hope that it's fatal. It's, it probably won't be, but I don't... I don't really have many other options. Yes! Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that was a Hail Mary attempt there, and I'm glad it paid off. Right. Well, I can hopefully get rid of the bulb. Oh, phew. Alright. Everything is looking much better now, thankfully. Are you weak to Lunar? I can't remember. Yes, you are vulnerable. Good. Wow, that was the most stressful regular fight by far. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. That path has opened up great. I got some peppers and some bones. And some grains. And a uh, an obsidian ore. Okay. Some moolah. Now instead of heading directly to that cavern, I did want to see perhaps something is here. Oh, well, there are lights. The lunar and solar light, so perhaps there's a puzzle here? Nope, just treasure- well, wait. <laughs> Anything? 
I don't trust it. Found a shimmering shard. Okay. Some sort of accessory. Uh, let's check it on Garl. Shimmering shard. Increased damage dealt to undead by 15%. That's a pretty big deal here. Garl, all yours. You don't have elemental affinity otherwise, so you might as well have a reason to... Uh, or, uh, uh, I don't know, some some strength other than elemental attacks. Okay, let's go back and rest, because that was that was rough. What are we looking at? Yeah, let, let's be safe about it and we'll rest. I, I, if... It, it, it just... I can't shake the feeling that a boss fight it nears. There he is. Hey, wait. What What are you doing to hold him? Ugh, where's that strength coming from? Ooh. Okay, no, he is absolutely compelled. It, there is no... F for Well, there's no physical force that can obstruct him from being called, unfortunately. Oh, Garl. We failed. But... The Dweller's grasp is too strong. The captain was right. Can't we go in? Maybe it's not too late. No way we'd break that barrier. Even the Headmaster will need the Eclipse to get us through. So we just... Give up? If we die in vain, we can't help anyone. Hmm, you're right. And maybe it won't be too late by the time you do the cleansing? They shared a look there. I don't... I. There was a lot... A lot said without being said <laughs> between the two of them. I don't know. They, they know... Everyone seems to know more than they are showing, except for Garl, who is just the most honest person in the game so far. Oh, that worries me a bit. Let's head back for now. I've sure had enough of these woods. Uh-oh. What's... What's going on? Another one already? Maybe we made it angry by trying to help. We should have listened. <gasps> no! <gasps> no! Please, no. Garl? Garl! No! Oh gosh, no. Valir, hang on. That's not fair. You can't take him. No, Garl, please. Oh, hi. What? Uh, I... I uh, sorry? <laughs> hey! I was hoping we would meet under different circumstances. Explain yourself right now. I am not your enemy. I used numbing poison to paralyze your friend's body. It was either that, or let letting him walk through that gate. It's a long shot, but if we hurry, we might be able to fetch a soul stone. Yep, what you said sounds completely plausible. A soul stone? Enchanted gems that dispel powerful curses. Someone on this island uses them to remain free of the Dweller's grasp. If we get one, it should consume the mind control spell on your friend. I know just the place, but... Well, what are we waiting for, then? I wish I had more time to explain. Oh, no. Sail, are you okay? I... Yes, we need to find a soul stone. First, let's take him back to the inn. <laughs> not not to make light of the situation, but does that officially put him into cargo now? <laughs> removed from the from the party? Oh, does that mean I lose his inventory slots? As in, if I want to move his accessories? We'll talk about that later. We have to hurry. Over here. This shortcut will help. <laughs> A mysterious assassin joins the party. 
All right, we'll take this shortcut as recommended by this assassin who we somehow are already trusting. And also who looks awfully suspiciously uh, familiar if you if you think about it. Uh, I, I might be wrong, but I'm just saying I've seen that hairstyle somewhere before. And I don't just mean that I've seen this specific character model. I mean... Hmm. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I can't get to Garl. Oh, no. Oh, Dexter Spangle. Increases bonus from timing hits and blocks by 10%. Darn it, why did I bother giving Garl the, the more important accessory? Oh, well. Okay. Oh, yikes. Oh, you little tricksters. Okay. We need to stop that from healing. Wait a minute. Does that mean that you have poison? You do. Venomous darts hit all enemies. The Venom Flurry. Disorient. A well-placed kick that delays an enemy's action. And Phase Shiv. Teleports to backstab the target with a Venom-coated blade. Nice. I love everything that that suggests. Oh, and Garl has my... has that accessory that shows the enemy's HP. Darn it. Garl, I love you, but that was such bad timing. <laughs> Darn it. Just for the fun of it, are you weak to poison? You are vulnerable. Good to know. Oh no, wait, this thing is weak to lunar. Oops, <laughs> I did that in reverse. <laughs> Yikes. Whoa. Um, uh, mending light. <laughs> Guess what? Mending light. <laughs> this one episode alone, I've used it, what, a dozen times now, approximately? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna name it the Mending Light episode. <laughs> nice. Very good. Oh, uh, I'm really disappointed that I spec Garl with basically my best equipment. That that was that was so that was such poor dis poor judgment on my part. Oh no. Okay, I got one. Are you 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 little twerp? Oh wait a minute. Now I have two people that can slash, so I can break it. Good, and it's vulnerable to poison.
What was that sound? <laughs> I swear I heard something else. Um, right. Let's... Uh, the scarier one for me here is Lonzon, because it could... It could, um... Do major damage, whereas the Woodland Spirit will only cure. So let's go after the zombie. Broken. Take that. Here we go, we've returned back to the safe point. <laughs> oh, Garl, no. This will have to do for now. Now, are you willing to risk your lives in order to save your friend? Absolutely. Then we must hurry to Necromancer's lair. With a bit of luck, Ramaya won't be home and we can grab a soul stone unnoticed. Are Necromancers really that dangerous? Ramaya is one of the three sisters. They are wielders of powerful magic. One of the sisters is good, one evil, and the other neutral. Like D&D. <laughs> Don't, don't, we're not even going to talk about the lawful, chaotic classification. Just to know that there's good, evil, and neutral. The evil one is a necromancer living on this island, and she is rumored to be the most formidable of the three. As to whether or not that makes her more powerful than Solstice Warriors, I hope we won't have to find out. How can we th get there? East of Lucent is a ferryman who will take us across the bog if we play our cards right. This is the only way to the necromancer's lair. Okay, we have a plan. What's your name, by the way? Sirai. Thanks for the help, Sirai. I don't know what we would have done without you. Let's make haste. Garl, we won't fail you, I swear. Ooh. Valir learned combat skill Lunar Shield. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh, Garl. Hang in there, Garl. We'll be back with a soul stone. And that will happen in the next episode. Uh, for now, we're going to call it there. Unfortunately, Garl is out for the count. And I can't even... Do we now gain his equipment? No, we do not. Darn it. <laughs> well, well, that kind of sets us... I gave him two really good accessories. And now we are uh, to venture forth without either of them. But we do have a new party member who has blade and poison in their... In their uh, arsenal. It is Sirai, who looks awfully familiar. I'm just gonna repeat that one more time. <laughs> I swear I don't know the story fully yet, but I'm just saying, uh, RPG tropes and all, she seems quite she, he, they seem awfully familiar. But anyways, that will do it for this episode. When we come back, we will get that soul stone and we will help our buddy out. Come to think of it, before closing the episode, I should have just saved. Hey guys! <laughs> hey, look at our new friend here. Do you all say anything different? I'm making a toast to our last departed. I mean, not that there's been a departed recently or anything. Is your friend alright? Did he eat something weird in the forest? Well, he, he definitely got something weird in the forest. My friend went for a walk yesterday, but I'm thinking maybe he'll just sail to another island and never return. He was always the adventurous type. Everyone is living in denial here. It is very concerning. It's, it's actually really depressing, come to think of it, because what's this place called? The First Stage of Grief? Yeah, this is so fun. 
My daughter loves music. And you're gonna remind us that we can rest, right? Yeah, no, that's fine. Hey, gang. Oh, Garl would have loved this song. Right, now I can officially close <laughs> close this episode. Um, My friend, thank you again for watching. You've been awesome and I appreciate you. I hope I'll see you next time. And until then, do take care. That was really cool what Sarai just did. <laughs> what kind of gloves is she wearing that she can hold the blade, the knife by blade point? Especially that they're poison tipped. I'm just, just a reminder that she is wielding poison as uh, her weapon of choice. <laughs> awesome. Okay, anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>